Today's episode of Variant is brought to you by Lynda.com. Today on Variant, it's the first episode of 2014, and we're taking a look back at the best comics of 2013. It's like time traveling, but not at all. Welcome to Variant. We love comics more than I love swirl chocolate pudding. I mean, you have the chocolate and then the vanilla and then even more chocolate. It's delicious. I'm your host, Eris Quinones. First off, Happy New Year, everybody. And speaking of the new year, what's a better way to kick off the new year than taking a look back at 2013 and seeing some of the best comics that came out last year? Well, actually, winning the lotto would probably be a better way to kick off the new year and becoming a millionaire. But that's neither here nor there. Let's take a look back at the best comics of 2013. Before I start listing some of the best comics of last year, know that hundreds of comics come out every month and there's no way I can list and talk about every single one. So if I don't mention a comic you think should be on my list, that doesn't mean I don't like it or it's not good. There's just a lot of good comics to talk about and not enough time. But getting into the list in no particular order, we have Saga. I've said it numerous amount of times on the show before that this comic is awesome. If you're not reading it, you need to be writer. Brian K. Vaughn, who wrote the amazing Why the Last Man comics, is writing this beauty. Saga has action, romance, drama, blood, violence, aliens, and spaceships. What else could you ask for? It's like everything awesome in one comic book. But more importantly, the writing is fantastic and the art really fits well with the story. Moving along, we have all new X-Men. I'm a huge X-Men fan and this is one of their best titles in my humble opinion. The comic centers around the five original X-Men, Angel, Beast, Cyclops, Jean Grey, and Iceman. They're brought from the past to the present by Beast to confront their future selves as psychological warfare in the hopes that seeing their past selves could change them, especially Cyclops, since he was seen as a mutant terrorist in the eyes of the government after the events of Avengers vs. X-Men, where he was possessed by the Phoenix and almost destroyed the planet. Next is Batman Beyond Universe. This is a must-read comic for anyone who loved the Batman Beyond cartoon growing up or just loved any of the DC animated universe. The comic takes place in the Batman Beyond cartoon universe and follows the show's continuity. Writer Kyle Higgins does a great job capturing the tone of the show. The comic just makes you feel like you're watching the cartoon on Saturday mornings all over again. The book is also split into two and has Justice League Beyond stories as well, so it's a Batman Beyond comic and a Just League Beyond comic all in one book of awesome. Another one of the best series of 2013 is Daredevil. It's written by Mark Wade and drawn by Chris Samnes. It's one of Marvel's most consistently good comic books. It's a visually stunning superhero comic that balances a good sense of fun with a realistic perspective of personal adversity. Then you have Hawkeye. Hawkeye is one of the best written comics out right now. So good, in fact, the series was able to pull off an experimental story in issue 11 about Hawkeye's dog Lucky with barely any dialogue at all, which you can imagine is a really hard thing to do. The series really pushes the boundaries of the medium while exploring the personal complications of the superhero lifestyle on a regular guy. So if you're a fan of Hawkeye, you want to be reading this. Another one of my favorite titles of last year is Superman Wonder Woman. The title explores the romantic relationship of the powered couple and their struggle fitting in on Earth. The series has great fighting sequences drawn by the amazing Tony S. Daniel and just overall has lots of action. But I guess that's what happens when you have two of DC's most powerful characters in one comic. Then you have The Wake. The Wake is an awesome sci-fi action adventure comic that takes place underwater. The best way to describe the comic is by saying it's the Alien movie franchise but underwater. So if you love the Alien films, you will love this comic. It's written by Scott Snyder. The guy's an amazing writer, so much so two of his other books made my list. And those two other books would be Superman Unchained and Batman. I don't think I need to get into too much detail about both comics as I've talked about how much I love both comic series on the show before. Superman Unchained is my favorite Superman Superman comic currently coming out every month. The series is still in its first story arc, but thus far has been amazing. It really shows off the sheer epicness and scale of Superman while still keeping him grounded and relatable. Not to mention it's being drawn by Jim Lee, which is always a win with me. As for Batman, I can say with complete confidence it's one of the best superhero comics coming out right now. And I'm not even being biased. Everything about the comic is solid. The writing, the art, and so on. Now obviously not everyone would agree, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and say most people would, especially since it's consistently one of the top top three best-selling comic books in all of comics every month. It's one of those books that even the diehard Marvel fans who won't read anything but Marvel still read. They'll read their 15 Marvel comics every month and then Batman, which has always been weird to me how some people feel like they have to choose between Marvel and DC and only read Marvel or only read DC. I personally don't see why you would have to choose. I know I love both companies as well as Image and Dark Horse and so on. I just have a love for comic books in general, but 
to each their own. Another comic that has shined this year is Five Ghosts, The Haunting of Fabian Gray. Five Ghosts is an action adventure pulp fiction comic. It's like Indiana Jones in comic book form. I always like to try to relate comic books to movies since everyone watches movies that makes it really easy to relate to. The comic also has a good lighthearted sense of humor at times and who doesn't like to laugh? It was originally supposed to be a five issue miniseries, but it did so well, Image decided to make it an ongoing monthly series. So I think that right there should tell you it's a good comic. And bringing my list of 2013 goodness to a close, I'm gonna give you guys a quick rapid fire of some of my other favorite titles of last year, since the episode would be like an hour long if I didn't. And they are as follows. You have Justice League, Deadpool, Justice League of America, Uncanny X-Men, Thor God of Thunder, Thief of Thieves, Fatal, Nightwing, and Superior Spider-Man. Now I know several of the comics on my list didn't debut in 2013, but the point of this list was to take a look back at the best comics of last year, not just the best comics that debuted last year. With that said though, let me know what comics you enjoyed the most in 2013 in our comment section below as there is never a definitive list with these sort of things since everyone has their own opinion. Lynda.com is an online learning company with more than 77,000 video tutorials that teach software, creative, and business skills. Memberships start at $25 per month and provides an unlimited 24-7 access to top quality video courses taught by expert instructors with real world experience. Learn anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace from bite-sized tutorials and comprehensive courses in web design, programming design, photography, business, audio and video, 3D and animation. And you can learn on the go with their optimized mobile site or free iPhone and iPad app for members. Try Lynda.com for free for seven days by visiting alinda.com forward slash variant. First up for Wednesday, January 1st, we have Guardians of the Galaxy issue 10. If you want to learn more about the Guardians of the Galaxy before their movie hits theaters later this year, you should hop on this book. Plus in this issue, Angela and Gamora go hunting. Now we have Damien, son of Batman issue three. Damien Wayne has been bruised and beaten to a pulp before, but nothing will compare to his latest confrontation with the horde of villains in this issue. And finally, we have Superman Unchained issue five. Superman and Wraith form an alliance to rescue a hostage and strike at the heart of Ascension. But the mission goes awry when it becomes clear that the man of tomorrow and a soldier from beyond the stars have a very different method. Well, that brings another episode to a close, but again, happy new year, everyone. And I hope one of your new year's resolutions is to read even more comics than you already do because more comics is always a win. But with that said, I look forward to bringing you guys an even bigger and better year of variant in 2014. I have some cool ideas and stuff in the works for the show. I'm excited for you all to see. Also, I don't tell you guys enough, but you all are awesome. Thanks for tuning in every week to hear me rant about comic books. Without you, the show wouldn't be possible. So I appreciate you guys very, very much. From the bottom of my comic book loving heart, thank you. So again, Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys next week when I talk about all things comics. It's continuity. Writer Kyle, Kyle Clidden, Cliggins, Kyle Clidden, Writer Kyle Cliggins. <laughs> but I guess that's what's to be expected. And it was... <laughs>